friends in this video i will show how we can develop a small application using laravel sub delete so laravel sub delete provides a very good opportunity for us to restore the data in case we deleted some data accidentally so we can always restore the data or we can permanently delete the data so i have developed a small application using laravel sub delete let me show you first and then i will show you how we can develop that application friends please subscribe this channel and also click on the bell icon to get a notification for the new video you can see i am displaying the list of courses here and against each course there is an action button where you can delete the related course so basically if you delete it here it will actually move it to the trash so let me click on it move to trash you can see it is move to trash now and then if i click on trash data the data is moved to trash which means you can use it as a recycle bin so let me just click on restore restore it so data is restored now let's go back to the courses you can see the data is restored here i can also permanently delete it click it here move to trash view trash data permanently delete delete so data is deleted if you now see the details of course we have four rows now so permanently delete has happened so this is a sub delete feature that i have used in this application so let me show you how we can develop it so i have created a project lara shop delete you can create in laravel 9 or laravel 10 doesn't matter so what i have done let me show you the database first in the database i am using lara demo database and additional table training courses is a new table which i have created as a new migration and i am using this table for sub delete if you see the structure of this table you can see there is a additional column deleted at so this is used for sub delete so let me show you the migration here in the database migration create training courses table this is the table that i am creating here you can see there is a sub delete sub delete this is used for the sub delete so once the migration is done we have got this table training courses let me show you the model here in the model we are using a sub delete trait this this has to be added in the model to use the sub delete feature of laravel so our model is done so let me show you the views that i am using so there is one view for the listing of courses this is for the view courses here we are just displaying the uh, courses and in the action we have a move to trash that is one button is there where i am calling a javascript function trash confirm with the id and i have written a javascript function yes and i am writing this id of the course in a model and showing the model i have defined a model and in the model i am using a form and in input field in the form is the deleted id value id of the course is assigned there and then i am showing the model similarly when we are clicking when we are showing the trash data view trash data if we see back to course delete move to trash view trash data so we need another view here for the trash data so here trash courses view this is also same thing but we are now showing it from the trash data and there are two buttons here one is restore and one is permanently delete 
So for both this button, I am using two JavaScript function, restore function and delete confirm. Here in the JavaScript function, I am using and then in that in this case also I am showing the model for the confirmation and once it is confirmed the value is written in the form field and then it is submitted so if you if you see the models here I have the model restore model and the trash model so it's nothing but a model where I am creating a form here and then input field is the ID of the ports here Similarly, restore also the same model here. There is actually three models here for one for restore, one for move to trash and one for permanent delete. So if you see the routes, index route and then move to trash, show the trash data and then restore and then permanently delete. Let us now see the controllers. Training courses controller. Let me show you the methods here. <laughs> Index method for the listing of courses. And move to trash. This is actually delete method that we are calling for the course ID. It will not actually delete permanently, but it will move to trash because we are using a deleted at column in the table. And similarly, if you want to see the details course details from the trash we are using a only trash method of the model and then showing the details from the trash data again restore we are using a restore method if you use with trash and then use the restore method to restore the deleted data and force delete force delete is used to permanently delete so you have to select from the trash data like training course with trash method and then use force delete method to delete permanently. So this is how we can develop the Laravel application using Laravel sub delete. Friends if you find it useful you can always give a like to this video and subscribe this channel. Also click on the bell icon to get a notification for the new videos. Hope it will be useful for you. Also, this topic is discussed in my website httpscodehowto.com. You can see the detailed step-by-step -step instruction given in the topic. You can download the code and also you can use it as per your requirement. If you find it useful, give a like to this video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.